Hello Louisiana Beer Reviews. We're looking at Shiner Trail Ale. And that's from our friends at School what's the Spetzel name? Brewing. Spetzel Brewing. Yeah. Spetzel Brewing. It's an ale brew with chocolate, nuts, dried fruit, and with natural flavors added. And so they're showing all the stuff you see in a trail mix. They said it's been out since 2021. They're showing cans on the website, but clearly we're getting the bottles here at home. Got this at Dornex, so It's a twist cap, so I don't have to worry about it. Eye opener. Got nice. the old train passing by yeah. again. Some it's nice smoke. smoke this morning. Somebody told me, you seem pretty intelligent, but don't you realize that's not smoke? And I was like, well, that's just a slang term for water vapor. <laughs> and yeah. I know it's not smoke. We could call it fog. Is that more appropriate? Would you like us to call it fog? I just found it funny, like that he really thought I, that he thought I thought it was smoke. Bring it, bring it, bring it. All right, stop. Windy today. We got some uh, yeah, we gonna... seasonable change in weather. I believe it's like sixty outside. Or something. We got bright sun. Sixty-eight. Bright. It's sixty-eight already. Is it all right? Yeah. Is it? Oh, let me check my old trusty Fitbit and see what it's telling me. Uh, it is. Doggone it. Well, press the wrong gooey. Uh, 67 here in, here in uh, my neck of the woods, which is really good for still in January. At the time of the recording. Yes. Now, when I pulled up, the Nissan car thermometer was saying 68, so it's close. I think roads get a little hotter than actual ambient air. So, anyway. So the color of this is kind brown. of, yeah, brown. There's no other way of saying that this is any other color than brown. brown. If you hold it up to the light, you get that classic looking, almost Coca-Cola look, where it comes in a little reddish, off reddish color, kind of, kind of dark. Uh, appearance is light. It mm -hmm. looks light. What yeah. do you mean the appearance is light? Like the viscousity of it. It's not really like sticking to the side of the glass. You don't get that, you know, like you would call it alcohol legs. Oh, you mean the viscosity, like the thickness of it. Yeah, it's watery. Okay. Constantly being corrected by the teacher. No. Oh. It smells like chocolate. And the head is beige. Chocolate. Yeah, it, it smells, smells like, like milk chocolate, like a milk chocolate candy bar. A <laughs> little bit of fruit. I'm not really getting the fruit on the smell. I'm getting a nut. Yeah. So it's almost like a peanut. Like that Spanish peanut, you know, where it's got the red skin on it. Oh, yeah, the circus peanuts. Yeah. They're actually called Spanish peanuts. I bought them with kidding when the labels. You get the toms. Right, but that's the ones they usually sell at the circus, you know. The ones with the red skin. I ain't been to a circus in forever, so I ain't bought one anymore. Or anyway. Cheers. cheers. <laughs> it's got kind of a strange like punch as soon as you drink it. It's like you're hit with a with a mixture of flavors going all going in different directions that aren't really like coming together. But after you go, then you can taste. And it lives up to the full 33 bitterness units. It's pretty bitter. Yeah. I would if I didn't know. I'd say it's even higher than that. I know. Seems like it. Medium body, dry finish, sweetness low. It's really not sweet. So this is supposed to be like trail mix? Well, it says so inspired by it. Okay. Got cashews, almonds, chocolate. What is that? Uh, I'm not going to try to guess. Uh, uh, it's cartoons on a label. What do they use? Raspberries and raisins on a trail mix? Okay, so. I have no idea. But I no saltiness. You don't eat trail mix? No saltiness. On cran trail. I am getting a little saltiness off of this. Oh, yeah? Maybe that's the combination of flavors that I was talking about. Because trail mix usually has salt, but I don't really pick that up. Oh, I'm getting salt. 
Yeah. I'm getting salt, I'm getting nut, chocolate. Not so much on the fruit end. Are you detecting any fruit? Maybe. Oh, you know what? That's cranberries. That's right, they use cranberries and raisins. Oh, a little bit, yeah. I'm not really detecting a whole lot of fruit. I'm detecting a lot of peanut and yeah. almost something like a peanut shell. And chocolate. And cashews and almonds. I don't know about all that. I'm getting definitely the, chocolate. I'm getting the nuts. I'm getting the nuts, yeah, but I'm, I'm not really getting fruit on it. So what the company says, they use a brown ale base. So it's probably like a really mild brown ale. And they add all this flavoring. Uh, 6%, so it's strong ale, you know, relatively strong. It's, it's bitterness is it, about three out of five hot cones. Sweetness, two out of five sugar cubes. It's what? It's just kind of strange. And then it leaves me with salt in my mouth. Like oh. palate. Yeah, salt. It's almost like I need another beer to rinse it down. I guess salt would be a natural flavor. So if they say natural flavor, salt would be part of that because, I mean, salt's natural, so... It is salty. It's a salty beer. When I did a solo review, I didn't pick up any salt. I don't know what the deal was. You still not getting any salt? A little bit, maybe, yeah. Uh, uh, I think I'm I still left. Yeah, bon appetit. This could be the last salty part. No. Uh, I'm good. All right, so how do you score this odd item? Uh, it's an original. I'll give them that. Uh, it's a it's a solid beer. The flavors are kind of unusual. I don't really know if they work together. So um, I was saying I like to eat trail mix sometimes, but I don't know if I want to drink it. I, mean, I, I think I think there's gonna be people out there that say this is dynamite, and there's gonna be other people out there that's like I don't really understand this. I would be on one of those ones that in between on all lines I don't understand to the salt is just a little too much for me. And I get it, you want it to taste like trail mix. So did they do that? Yes. It minus the fruit. Um I'm still not getting any fruit. Uh I'm gonna give this a eighty eight. B plus, very good, but not excellent. No, because the the flavor profile just doesn't. To me, it is excellent. Shake with me. It's excellent. I think it is like a ninety three excellent, most excellent. But the problem is, do I really want to drink beer that tastes like trail mix? So, for what it is, I think it's most excellent. I just don't know if I like what it is because I'm you know these novelty beers are starting to get a little much. You know, like. So, Juicy. When, you're, when you're calling it most excellent, one of the criteria that I would use in a most excellent, would this be a beer that I want to drink again and again and again? Oh, I wouldn't want to, but for yeah. what it is, it's most excellent. That to me, that's, I think, to I, think our, I think our grading scale is about the same. But I pull, I pull scores down based off of First off, is it something I really enjoy? Secondly, is it something I'll drink again? And thirdly, you know, I, I give it, I, I, I bumped it because it's original. Let me explain myself. I try to detach myself from that. Like I try to not say, don't worry about what I would want, even I'm the one drinking it. I'm trying to say, is it, what's the quality, quality level of the product? Whether I would ever want to drink it again or not. And I think it's at the quality level. Now, I don't, know why anybody would want to drink a beer that tastes like trail mix but if you got this idea in your mind you want to do it go ahead I mean, honestly you know it, to me it tastes very nutty forward and with a chocolate backbone i'm not really getting what it, it leaves me with salt yeah like I, I need like like a like a natural light or something to wash this down. yeah i mean I, I you know these beers that taste like um the one that tastes like chewing gum I mean, yeah, it tastes like juicy fruit, but I don't want to drink a beer that tastes like juicy fruit. But for what it was, it was really great. Just, I would never want to drink it again. Mm. Although they, they screwed up with the name, they call it bubble gum. And I was like, well, this is, they 
clearly juicy. Chewing gum. Sure. Chewing gum. Now, if they had called it gum. chewing gum IPA, I'd have said you nailed it. 100%. Right. Well, anyway, so that's it. So we like it, but it's not our kind of thing. But like you said, people out there might just love it and want to keep drinking. It might. I mean, it's just, I'm, I'm, it's going to be your niche drinker out there that's going to really enjoy this. Uh, that's why I gave it a, a B plus. Um, I think on all fairness, it's a well put together product. Uh, the beer itself is really good. It's just the flavors to me are a little not agreeing with me. It's more like I'd be agree with someone else. So there you have it. Yeah, it's more like a get together beer where you have a bunch of people that get together and you say, hey, y'all want to try something crazy? You want to try a beer that tastes like pickles? Dill pickle beer? You want to try this bubblegum beer? You want to try this trail mix beer? Something like that. Just so make it for conversation, you know. You know, a long time ago, I saw a video on YouTube and uh, it was the premise of pickle beer. And the whole video was stating that you could take an average tasting beer or something that you think is not that great tasting and take a pickle, a dill pickle sphere and put it in an ad if you pour it in like a, like a beer mug and put it in and supposedly made it taste better. I guess you could do that with vodka too. People do that, right? Add all kind of fruit and vegetable flavors to vodka. I don't even know if that's even a thing, you know? Do they actually do that to vodka? Yeah, because it's so neutral. Yeah, you know. Look at the name on that. All that little blue J. All right, so Lazy L.A. Bon Tomale. We like the product, but with uh, with a lot of questions. And I'm going to end this review by saying y'all go to Shiner, Texas, and take a tour of the Spetzel Brewery, and you will like that tour. Very German-influenced brewery.